Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Mr. Show back with another video, and today I'm going to show you uh, new OBS settings for the new OBS Studio. Uh, you know, if you go to their website, uh, this is the application they have now. Hold up. Oh man, I'm using OBS to record OBS. This is going to be weird. I wonder if it breaks my recording. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, so this is OBS Studio right over here. This is the one, the newest version you're going to find on their uh, homepage. Uh, a lot of people have watched my old video. You might come from there. Anyways, I'm going to show you the best settings for a 720p connection uh, for pretty slow internet speed. I'll also be showing you uh, 1080p 60fps uh, settings so you can you know do both. Uh, so OBS Studio does look different uh, than the normal OBS that a lot of people are used to, but uh, generally it has the same concepts behind it. Uh, I actually use OBS Studio uh, to record my Xbox One all the time. Alright, first things first, speed test. So I'll run a speed test on your connection right now as you're watching the video. Uh, I'm using a VPN so this is not my real uh, IP address. So I don't have to worry about that. And I don't remember why it's rated. I don't remember rating a one star, but let's just test it out. Uh, this will be lower than my normal internet speed. Uh, usually I get like a 90, but the VPN gives, you know, a hit on your connection, so it gets kind of slow. But really, uh, as you probably know already, what we're really interested in is the upload speed. The upload speed is going to tell us everything we need for streaming. Uh, and then we can, you know, have a cool connection. And here you go. This is what we're looking for. Now, I am suspect, now, look, I know a lot of you guys are saying, what the hell do you know about slow internet connection, Mr. 10 megabytes up per second? Uh, look, man, I used to have a slow internet connection, all right, and it was really bad, and I used these same settings, uh, and my internet worked great. I'm in networking, so I know my stuff, all right, guys? Uh, don't doubt me. I got this. Okay, now, we're back in here. Uh, so you're going to see this. You're going to be like, whoa, this is creepy as hell. Uh, but really, all you got to do is go to settings. This is where you're going to be doing most of your stuff. Uh, you want to go to Output and go under the Streaming tab. This is uh, the most important thing you possibly do. Uh, encoding, I don't think there are any other options, but uh, go with X264. Uh, rate Control, CBR, I think the constant bitrate. And now the bitrate, the actual bitrate. Uh, your bitrate is going to be uh, your internet speed multiplied by 1000. Uh, so if we just do this, what was my internet speed? Oh man. Let's just say your internet speed was 3.0, you're like right on the dot. Do that by a thousand, bam, 3,000 bits per second. Uh, that's how speed is measured and this is basically telling you your upload speed. Now, depending on what you found for your upload speed, uh, yours might be lower or higher than mine. Uh, we're not going to multiply this uh, speed by 1,000 because Twitch just won't take that speed. Uh, I don't know if YouTube does. I think YouTube gaming t t does like insanely uh, high speeds. But for some reason, Twitch and their junky ass only does 4,500 megabits per second, or 3,500. I think it's, I think it might be 3,500. Uh, Twitch bitrate. Oh, my typing is garbage. Yeah, 3,500 kilobits per second. Uh, that's lame as hell. Anyways, uh, if your internet speed is higher than 3.5 3 3.5 megabits per second, you want to go for the full 3.5 megabits per second. Now, if your internet speed is slower than this, and I bet you a lot of yours is, what you want to do is you want to take the exact number you have, as long as it is below 3.5 uh, megabits per second, and I want you to multiply it by uh, by a thousand. If you're bad at math, use this freaking calculator on Windows uh, and put that uh, value in. So let's just pretend that our upload speed was 1.70. That, that was our speed, all right? What we would do is we would multiply that, multiply that by a thousand, and that comes out to 1700. We're just going to put 1700 down, like so. Use custom buffer size. Buffer size, I just do the buffer size the same as uh, the bitrate. I don't know if that's the exact right way to do it, but I'm just going to stick with it. Uh, keyframe interval, this, now CPU usage, uh, this is really important, look, I, I said it in my last video too, if you have a high-end system, 
I, and a slow internet connection, you should really leverage uh, what you have like on your base. Uh, as you can see, they give you some help over here, higher equals less. Um, and just want to go with, uh, so basically, well, they describe it, higher equals less CPU. So faster is less than fast, and fast is less than medium. Uh, as far as I know, the, the really big streamers, they usually stream at like medium or slow. Uh, it's because they have a secondary PC and it's like super, super high end. Uh, maybe you have a secondary PC too. Uh, if you have two PCs, uh, you should have uh, OBS set up and running. If you have two PCs, I don't think you'll be watching this video though. Uh, so depending on what you have, you could try fast. Um, I'm at faster, but you could try fast. I think that'll work all right if you have a pretty high end system. A high end is going to be, you know, expensive. Profile. This again depends on your CPU. If you got a pretty decent CPU, actually, you know what? No, just go with main. I don't care what kind of CPU you have. Profile main, keep it at that. Uh, none of this. All right, just copy this. And please remember my little lesson on this. Now we're going to go to uh, video. Video is where we can set up our resolution. Chances are that if your uh, upload speed is lower than uh, 3.5 megabits per second, uh, you're not really going to be streaming at 1080p. So you should go down to 720p. Uh, 720p resolution is uh, 1280 by 720, like so. Same thing with this one, 1280 by 720. And downscaling filter, uh, again in the parentheses it tells you what's up. Uh, fastest but blurry if scaling. Uh, you want to go with uh, Lancazos, Lancazo. Oh my God! You, you want to go with this thing because um, if you're going down to 720p, a lot of people have 1080p setups, and it will just make it look better. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a little practice stream just for a couple seconds. I'm just gonna. Oh wait, no, I don't think I can. Uh, so there's this thing that I don't want to mess up. I'm just gonna hold up. I'll, I'm gonna do something on the fly so that we can see uh, the things that we have done. Where's monitor capture? Browse display capture. Does that count as monitor capture? Display capture. Yes, it does. Wait. So, yes, it does. So, am I in OBS Studio? Yes, I am. All right. So, this is what it will look like on their end. Uh, I suspected this. Okay. So, I actually made a mistake on my settings. Uh, if we go back to settings and we go back to video, output scale, the base resolution needs to be 920. The base resolution needs to be the resolution on your monitor. I have a 1080p monitor. A lot of you have 1080p monitors, I know that for a fact. So that should be your base. But your output, your scaled resolution, the one that it's going to change it to, is going to be 1280 by 720. It's because you have a slow ass internet connection. Now we're going to apply these settings. I'm going to see it again. And there you go. It's been fixed. Look at that. So now we capture the entire background and our output is only 720p. Now, look, if you got like a super slow ass internet connection, uh, you're going to have some complications, especially if you go really, really low. Uh, like if we go to Twitch bitrate recommendation Zzz. they'll tell us straight up what's up uh, here we go this is so super helpful now if your internet connection is within this range you want to you want to go at uh, you know but our resolution is at I think it was uh, our like fake resolution basically was at 1700 bits so we'd be able to stream uh, 720p. Uh, again, there's this recommendation thing where you should only uh, put in a value that is 80% of your total internet speed. Uh, so let's just say our internet upload speed was 1.7 megabits per second. The recommendation is uh, for a smooth and stable stream is to do 80% of 80% of that value. And that will come out to, let's just say 1,400. 
that would be the recommended thing for a stable internet connection because your internet probably d doesn't stay the same all the time. Uh, for example, if we just do another test right over here, you look in the bottom, they're like slight fluctuations and that's the same thing that happens with your upload speed. So that's why that there's an 80% recommendation where you should only use 80% of your uh, upload speed. So it's to offset the effect of these fluctuations on your upload speed. So your recommendation, if you have a 1.7, I mean 1.70 uh, megabits per second connection, 1.7, uh, you would only use 1,400. But I know most of you aren't going to do that because 480p looks really bad, uh, and I know you're going to use full of your full uh, com possible compa capacity for upload. Uh, yeah. So if your internet speed is below like 2.5 you want to go and have an exact multiple of your upload speed I really hope I'm not freaking confusing you guys um, look just multiply the speed by a thousand alright if it's freaking if it's within this range you're good to go I don't even know why you're watching this video maybe you're just watching for settings but if it's fluctuating between these two then you want to go with uh, your full upload speed let me just freaking give you another example, alright man? Let's just say my upload speed was 4.0. That's my upload speed, alright? So it's 4.00. That's what it says right over here. I hope you can see my cursor. Can you see my cursor? Wait. Yeah, yeah, I think you can see my cursor. Alright, cool. Uh, so let's just say my upload speed was freaking uh, 4.00. I'll multiply that by a thousand. And that's my bits per second. That's my bit rate. And then I'll multiply that by 0.8 because I want 80% of that value. And bam, this is my recommended recommended bit rate that I should put into OBS Studio uh, for when I want to stream. I really wanted to focus on the, the in, and, in and outs of the bit rate stuff because a lot of people got kind of confused by it uh, and they didn't, they didn't really understand the inner workings of it. Uh, of finding that value because everyone has a different internet connection and people get confused but really you just I actually think OBS studio is a lot simpler than the older OBS because uh, they have all these settings in this simple format uh, anyways oh yeah you had to by the way on your output you might have seen this uh, you want to go to advanced advanced will tell you what's up and yeah that's pretty much it I know I rambled too much and oh yeah let me just tell you about the freaking 1080p thing. Uh, 3,500. 3,500. And then you just want to change this uh, to 1920 1080p and put this to 60. And you're good to go for 1080p 60 FPS if your internet is, is really good. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching all the way through. I know I rambled a little bit, but I gotta like, you gotta get in your head how this freaking works. Because uh, chances are if you're watching my video, you don't really uh, get, uh, you know, what's up. Oh yeah, hey, bro, if you watched this video all the way through, go to my website. I've been working kind of hard on it, and I think it's pretty freaking awesome. Uh, I got some tech reviews. As you can see by the name of it, Technology Reviews and Guides for Content Creators. I'm really focusing on people that make videos or stream. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching all the way through. And yeah, bye.